Bum, bum. It's a hand, everybody. It's my hand. <laughs> Hello, I am Katana, the lightning cat. And I'm looking at my... Well, not precisely mine, because I don't own it. I'm looking at the Studio Beta thing that's going to be pushed out. Age helps. 18 to 34 year olds. That lets me know how much maturity my audience has. Well, a generalization. Top countries. Yeah, it used to be India. But, okay. That's changed. Subtitle CC languages. No subtitles, because I don't even know how to work that. Gender, watch time from subscribers. Not subscribed and subscribed. Yeah, most of my watch time is coming from non-subscribed right now. Uh, yeah, this bit is going to change over time. I don't know how much. This is new. Unique viewers, average views per viewer. Seems interesting to me. Don't know exactly what it means. But this bit, the age thing here. Data for watch time is not correctly tracked between December 19th and December 20th. I don't know what that's about. This helps me the most. Because... I'm actually looking for people <laughs> in the psychologically mature age range who understand my idiocracy, my sarcasm. And this is just a view catalog, apparently. This needs to be more concise. Unique viewers. Estimated number of people that have watched your content within the selected data range. Or date range. Sorry. Date range, not data range. Okay. The average number of views your channel received per viewer in this time period. Okay. And then subscribers, that's obvious. This little line graph here, this is not obvious. What is this? It. What is it tracking? Is it tracking just overall views? It doesn't say. Video published. Then how many views? Seven views, six views. Oh, that's videos published. Okay. Two videos, seven videos. Okay. And this is over the, the dates. Okay. But this, this little line graph here, above it, this isn't explained very well. Earn revenue. Yeah, my channel doesn't have monetization, so it's all going to be zeros. All going to be zeros. Overview. Yep, here we here we again we have this little line graph and a block period of uh, what the heck is this? This gray area here, this shaded area as it were, 
This needs to be explained when I mouse over it. This whole line graph needs an explanation somewhere that says what exactly it is when you scroll over it. It needs to pop up and... Oh, that... 2 hours, 32 minutes. Okay, maybe this is watch time? It was the same under the build an audience thing. Those little line graphs need more explaining. Explaining, man! Here we have this uh, linear bar graph. Latest activity views within the last 48 hours. Well, okay. Within the last 48 hours and 60 minutes. Okay. It's updating live. So. Today from 8 to 9 a.m., 20 views. Nice. And my channel trailer is going to get a lot more views because it's the one being used in the advertising campaign. So, it's, of course, it's going to have more views. So, I'm just going to disregard it in the top videos because it's being used to advertise my freaking channel this new analytics is so different it's so different from YouTube Studio Classic I don't need different this is this is the whole Walmart scenario where every every month basically because that's how freaking unrelentingly often that the local Walmart is rearranging their stock from one point to the next you have to go you, you get used to go into the grocery store or the Walmart Supercenter you go in you know where everything is one month and then 20 days later everything's different the fucking cereal are where the fucking spices used to be. We don't need shit changed. Different is not always better. In this case, this information, these analytics and everything, different is not better. It's worse. From a marketing standpoint, for like selling shit, maybe. But YouTube, you're not selling anything. Not with this. Different, in this case, is worse, not better. I honestly don't want to switch over to this new studio model you're making because it looks like a jumbled mess that a four-year-old drew for art class 20 years ago. <sighs> let, me, let me go and look at the videos. A little videos tab here. That bit right there. It's taken a little bit longer than the previous one to load. I got used to over here having the uh, view counter, then the like and dislike. So this, this is not better for me. Different is worse because a creator depends on everything being organized and not being shuffled the fuck around all the goddamn time. Yeah, it's all colored with you know, new colors and it's reorganized. But different is not better in this case. Not for me. I got used to Creator Studio Classic and that's what I want to stick with. Yeah, it is harder to use the whole fucking thing. Um,
<sighs> R-E-A-L-Y Rely R-E-L-A-Y No, that's Relay Fuck English! God damn! R E L Y. Continuity. Continuity. Here, I'm gonna have to spell it the fuck out. Different is worse for me as a creator because I rely on continuity. Change is bad. The Hershey Bar, unchanged since 1959. Well, I don't know what the actual date was. Anybody else remember that commercial? Learn how to change your default creator experience. No, fuck no. I... I I'm not signing up for a user research studio. Study whatever. The this this new thing here is just a fucking shit show for me. It really is. Skip. I would greatly enjoy this studio beta thing not being shoved out as a change. But only being introduced as a, an option that you can choose to use. I got used to this. It's less cluttered. It, this bit's more organized over here. Everything's neat. This is what I got used to. This is what the fuck I want to use. I just fucking finished learning where most of the stuff is here. My analytics, I understand it. <clears throat> may take a little while to load but you'll see watch time minutes there's the bar graph for it the line graph sorry that's not a bar graph average view duration in seconds and minutes there's the line graph easy to fucking understand it's all nice and organized. There's no additional bullshit mucking around. Everything is plain and understandable. This is what I enjoy. This is what I want to fucking stick with. Likes, dislikes, comments, shares, videos and playlists, and subscribers. It's all fucking organized and labeled. This new studio beta needs to just be an option that people can choose to use if they want it. That's the way it should be. However, I don't want to fucking use this new studio you're creating, YouTube. I don't fucking like it at all. And if you think that you can make it likable for me, you're fucking wrong. When we go into a grocery store, we want all the fucking groceries to be on the exact same shelves. That way we know where the fuck to go to get everything and get the fuck out and go back home because we have shit to fucking do. Walmart, however, has a different opinion and they want you to spend as much time confused in their store as possible, wandering around aimlessly buying every fucking thing you can. YouTube, you're not Walmart. Don't fucking pull this fucking Walmart bullshit and expect people like me who have gotten used to this, this, which is easy, to understand, don't fucking pull this switcheroo. You may not have any competitors right now, but you keep driving people away with your fucking agenda. 
including your social justice faggotry, and eventually you just won't be a fucking platform. Because people will fucking leave. Just like they left Destiny. Just like they're... Well, let's see. What's the proper wordage, verbiage here? Just like it's a fucking shit show festival, a carnival, the Devil's Carnival, if you understand that movie, it's a shit show to make fun of Bethesda now. And I have deleted my Fallout 4 and Skyrim playlist because Bethesda is just being a bitch. YouTube, don't join the bitchosity. Don't go down this path. Leave things the way they work as is. Don't add new shit that's incomprehensible. I don't fucking like new shit all the goddamn time. Change doesn't equal better. We need continuity. Not the latest and greatest. It's time for everyone to slow the fuck down and take a deep fucking breath and start breathing again. Moving forward to the newest, latest, greatest bullshit all the time is just fucking retarded. I don't know how I can stress this point that your studio beta changes to be a release for everyone to change into is just fucking atrocity. I like the, the studio the way it is. The creator studio, I like it the way it fucking is. I don't need it changed. I understand where things are right now. Don't move my fucking grocery shelves around. Don't be a fucking Walmart. There, I've said it. If you can't fucking understand it, then fuck you, YouTube.